Welcome to day four of Staycation Bible School. And today we're going to go with Jesus and his disciples, his friends, and they're going to do something special together. Did your mom ever ask you to clean the bathroom or your room? It's a yucky job. Nobody wants to do it, but it has to be done. We're going to learn today about Jesus doing a yucky job to show that he loves his friends. When we make our beds in the morning, when we pick up our toys, when we brush our teeth, it's not something we want to do, but it's something that shows that we love our parents and friends and we want to keep things nice and safe. So we're going to start again today and what's the first thing we do? We light a candle to remind us that Jesus' love is with us always. So. After we light the candle, we pray. Pray with me, please. God of love, we love you because you first loved us, and that is amazing. Thank you for Jesus teaching us and showing us how we are to love others. Help us today as we think about the many ways we can love one another just as Jesus loved us. Today, Jesus is going to go with his friends and he's going to do something special for them. You're going to learn today how to do special things to help others out. So let's go listen to the story now. This is the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Jesus knew that not everybody liked him. He knew the leaders were angry with him. In fact, they were so angry and jealous, they wanted to kill him. And Jesus knew that too. But Jesus had his special friends, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Simon, Matthew, James, Thomas, Thaddeus, and Judas. They had been his friends for a long time. They traveled with Jesus. And Jesus taught them many things. One night, they all got together for dinner. And while they were eating, Jesus got up. He put a towel on like an apron. And he poured water into a large bowl. And then he began to wash his friend's feet. When Jesus got to Peter's feet, Peter said, I can't let you wash my feet. If you don't let me wash your feet, Jesus said, you can't follow me. In that case, said Peter, wash my hands and my head too. After Jesus had washed his friend's feet, he asked, Do you understand what I did? I showed you how to be kind to each other. I am your Lord and teacher. If I can be kind and help you, then you can be kind and help each other. Jesus told his friends, if you don't let me wash your feet, you can't follow me. If you don't let me do the special things I want to do, how can we be friends? So we are just going to have to learn how to help each other and how to spend time with each other making good friends. The song today is an easy one. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I wonder what the craft and snack is going to be today. Let's take a look. Welcome to day four of Staycation Bible School Crafting. I wanted to reference our opening prayer from earlier today. We learned that 
our God of love loves us. He loves us first and wants to teach us to love others as he loves us. Isn't that an awesome thing? Today's craft is a heart. Two-tone heart. You can do it all the same colors. You can do whatever color combination you want to. We're going to make this into a pillow by stitching this together around the edge. And then we're going to fill it with cotton balls, cotton batting if you have that at home. You could use Kleenex or paper towel. Uh, you can use anything like that. If your children do not have allergies, you can also use potpourri. If you're going to use potpourri, I would suggest not using the smaller granulated kind, but something a little bit larger so that it won't come out between the stitching. Uh, you can also, if you use a cotton ball, you can put some essential oils on the cotton ball and put that inside the pillow also. That'll help to make it a sachet pillow. You will, don't want to put too many, though. Maybe three or four at the max if you're going to go with the essential oils. So what I have done is I've taken two sheets of felt. They come this size here with the long side on the top and the short side on the bottom, or on the side, rather and you fold it in half, and then you cut along that fold. At that point, you can also fold that again so that it's in force and cut that as well. Then you're going to take and draw one side of your heart with a pen, with a Sharpie marker, anything like that. So you have a fold in the middle, that way both sides of your heart are equal. And you need two sheets of felt or two pieces of felt, or you could use foam, you could use cardstock, uh, you could use fabric, but you need two so that you can take them and using the side that has the ink markings on them, put them together before you start sewing your pillow. You're going to need scissors to cut it out with. You're going to need some kind of ribbon or lacing what I've used is the spool of ribbon that I get at a craft store. There's 10 yards on a spool and it's the 1 8 inch ribbon. It's the thinnest one that you can buy. I cut a piece that was about three yards in length. And then I took a large eye opening needle since you can get that ribbon through there. So you thread your, your ribbon through that hole now I, I cut a piece of ribbon that was about three yards in length, okay? Once you get your needle on your ribbon, you're going to start by tying a knot in the other end. And I always start at the point of the heart and go up from the bottom until that knot catches at the base of your heart. Then what we're using here is called a whip stitch. You can use a running stitch, which is just a straight line uh, steaming all the, way, all the way along the outside of the heart. You can use a blanket stitch if you want. That's a little bit more decorative. It's still relatively simple. If you decide to use a whip stitch, a blanket stitch, or a running stitch, you can Google those terms and they'll show you videos on exactly how to do that. I've sewn the majority of the heart. There's still an opening here so we can stuff the heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the stitches and then we're gonna stuff the heart. So with this, you come up from the bottom with your needle. You may have to wiggle it back and forward a little bit just to get it through the felt. And then you pull it taut. You go around the two pieces and then back up from the bottom to the top. It's always the same direction, so you're always going this way with your needle and ribbon. Okay, so once you pull that taunt, now we're going to stuff the heart. I'm using cotton balls that I got at the dollar store. So you simply just put those into the heart and you wanna push them up into the, the spaces into the two sides of the heart. You can make it as full as you want. It doesn't have to be very full, or you can have a nice fluffy pillow, whichever you desire. Just rearrange 
your cotton balls or your cotton batting, whatever you're using, until you've got the desired fullness that you, you're looking for. I think that's pretty good. Just make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so now the heart is full. And all we have to do now is finish sewing this little side of the heart here. So what I'm going to do, and I've noticed that we have a stitch that didn't catch on both sides. So if that happens, simply take your needle off the ribbon, pull that, thread, that stitch out, and then you can re-thread your needle and start again. Okay. Okay, now we're back to sewing. So we go up from the bottom to the top, making sure to catch both sides and pull that taunt. And you just repeat that until that hole is closed and stitched shut. And remember, you may have to wiggle that needle a little bit just to make sure that you can get it through there. Just about done in here. Just a couple more stitches will be all done. And then the last one. Okay, now to tie off a knot before you pull it all the way through, put your needle back through that loop and pull it tight. That'll, that'll make the first part of your knot. Go back through the same hole again. And this time you will probably have to wiggle that needle just to make sure you get it through because you've got a lot of ribbon right there. All right, again, do the same thing, back through the loop, pull it taunt, and now your pillow is complete. Just have to cut off the little tail here. And now you have your sachet pillow. Now, the one thing that we talked about was how Jesus loves us and we're to love others. So one nice thing to do with your new sachet heart would be to give it to somebody that you care about, whether that's a relative, a friend. Give them something nice to remember you by. If you want, you can also use a Sharpie marker and write love, peace, whatever you want to write on your heart, and then give that away. Tune in tomorrow, and we'll be doing Day 5 Scrap. For snack time today, we're going to decorate Bible cookies. Now, when we're done, this is what they're going to look like. It's really easy. I like to decorate cookies, but I don't want to wait till Christmas. I decorate cookies all year round. Now first we take a fig cookie. Now figs were an another important fruit in the Bible. Jesus talked about fig trees several times. You just poke a little hole in the end and put in a little bit of a fruit snack. There, that is the bookmark, isn't that cute? Then we're gonna get the icing. First you have to decorate the spine of the book. This is where the book folds. And then we'll decorate the front, it's really quick. One, two, three, four. Then we have to put the cross on it. And there you go, all done. Mm. I thank you for spending this day with us. Our week is almost done. But we've enjoyed each other's company and we've learned some things about making friends and doing good things for the people that we care about. Will you pray with me? Thank you, Jesus, for this day as we followed you along the way. We will travel day and night to follow you and share your light. Help us journey far and near to share God's love with all who hear. Amen. See you.